Shadows of the other world. The cabin that shouldn't exist. The sun was setting on the horizon, casting an eerie orange glow over the dense forest. The trees whispered in the wind, creating an ominous atmosphere. In the heart of the woods stood a lonely cabin, its windows shattered and its doors creaking in the breeze. No one knew how long the cabin had been there, or who had built it. It seemed to have emerged from the darkness, a place that did not belong in this world. But that did not stop a group of friends from stumbling upon it during their camping trip. The group consisted of four friends, Emily, Jack, Sarah, and Alex. They had been best friends since childhood, and decided to spend their summer vacation in the woods, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. The creepy cabin was not part of their plan, but they were excited to explore it. As they approached the cabin, they could feel a chill in the air. The door was slightly ajar, inviting them in. Against their better judgment, they pushed the door open and entered the cabin. The interior was just as eerie as the exterior. The walls were covered in strange symbols and drawings, and the smell of decay lingered in the air. But the most unsettling thing was a large painting hanging on the wall. It depicted a figure with glowing red eyes, its face twisted into a sinister grin. Let's get out of here, Sarah whispered, her voice trembling with fear. But before they could leave, a loud thud echoed through the cabin, followed by a low growl. The friends froze, their hearts pounding in their chests. They could feel a presence in the room watching them. Did you hear that? Alex asked, his voice shaking. Without waiting for an answer, they ran towards the door, but it wouldn't budge. Panic set in as they realized they were trapped in the cabin. Suddenly, the painting on the wall began to move, its eyes following their every move. The friends screamed in terror as they saw the figure in the painting step out of the frame, its eyes still fixed on them. It stood tall, its skin pale and its body emaciated. Its mouth opened, revealing rows of sharp teeth as it let out a blood-curdling scream. The friends were paralyzed with fear, unable to move as the creature advanced towards them. Just when they thought it was all over, a voice echoed through the cabin. Welcome to my home, my dear guests. It's been a long time since I've had visitors. The friends turned to see an old woman standing in the doorway, her face twisted into a wicked smile. She introduced herself as the owner of the cabin and invited them to stay for the night. But the friends knew they had to get out of there. They could sense the evil in the woman and the creature, and they were not willing to stay and find out what they were capable of. They managed to escape the cabin and run back to their campsite, never looking back. From that day on, they never spoke of the creepy cabin in the woods again. But as they lay in their tents that night, they could still hear the screams and growls coming from the cabin, a reminder of the horror they had encountered. And they knew that they were lucky to have escaped with their lives, for the cabin and its inhabitants were not of this world. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.